we whenever you have someone who's known as the bling bishop, you know it's good content. Here's a reminder of some of the bling bishop's past controversies, like this guy got robbed during a sermon. You'll recall that. How many of you have lost your faith because you saw somebody else die? What you about to go through? Yo, yo. All right, right, right. All right, right. Yo, all right, all right. Well, you know, things are uh, are not great in your pulpit when that's probably the second most, you know, second strangest thing to ever happen uh, while you were giving a sermon. Here, just to remind you of Bishop Lamore Whitehead, the bling bishop, uh, he grabbed a woman by the neck during a sermon. Let's take a look. Now, let's give Jesus a round of applause while they take pictures and they want to be on social media. Take the pictures. Take the pictures, take the pictures, take the pictures, take the pictures. Go over here, go over here, grab her, grab her out, grab her out. Now you're gonna grab, grab her out, grab her out, grab her out, grab her out. Get downstairs, grab her, grab her, grab her, grab her, grab her. Press whatever charge you want. You're not going to come in my space. I feel threatened. Amen. Amen. Well, I mean, I personally, I would watch, uh, you know, many episodes of the real bishops of New York if that's what uh, the action would be like. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. We do have an update. Uh, the Brooklyn Bishop, the bling bishop that we've seen here, Lamore Whitehead, notorious there for showboating his luxury items. He's now been found guilty of scamming and exploiting a 58-year-old woman who saw him as a man of God. Following a two-week trial, Whitehead was convicted of several charges, including one count of making false statements to the FBI, one count of attempted extortion, one count of attempted wire fraud, and two counts of actual wire fraud. Uh, and, and so when you see uh, this sort of activity, it doesn't surprise you that it was unanimous. Uh, unanimous. Here's Taylor Ardry from the Atlanta Black Star. As a unanimous jury found Lamore Whitehead abused the trust placed in him by a parishioner, tried to obtain a fraudulent loan using fake bank records, bullied a businessman for $5,000, tried to defraud him out of far more than that, and lied to federal agents. U.S. Attorney Damian Williams said in a Statement officials charged that Whitehead convict, convinced a par parishioner, convinced a parishioner, Pauline Anderson, to give him the $90,000 out of her retirement fund to help her purchase a new home. He reportedly used that money at luxury stores like Louis Vuitton to pay his bills, according to reports. After receiving no update, Anderson asked for her money back, but officials said he kept making excuses and lying. This sparked a legal battle between the two. He was a man of God, Anderson said per the New York Times. I believed him as the leader of his church. Prosecutors said that Whitehead also tried to extort $5,000 from a man identified by outlets as Brandon Belmonte, a businessman. He later circled back to convince Belmonte to lend him $500,000, give him a stake in certain real estate transactions in exchange, according to the DA. He promised favorable actions from New York City Mayor Eric Adams, although he knew he couldn't fulfill that obligation. So during his testimony, Whitehead alleged that an FBI FBI agent alluded to wanting to target Adams, but he declined to be an informant, the New York Times reported. The bishop was thrust into mainstream media, media after gunmen stole a million dollars in jewelry, which we just saw during a live stream service at his Brooklyn church, Leaders of Tomorrow International Ministries. In 2022, he recently offered to officiate the funeral of one of the suspects whom U.S. Marshals shot in January. So the bishop seemingly responded to the conviction saying the story isn't over, but it's a new chapter. Stay tuned. God is still God. They can all laugh now and talk, he wrote, reiterating that the FBI wanted him to turn against the city's mayor. After this, Jesus will get the glory. Stay tuned for this new chapter called Truth 
and vindication. Well, uh, Jackson, I ask you, uh, as as interesting as these earlier chapters are, are you looking forward to the next chapter, Truth and Vindication? Uh, well, I, I think he just needs to spend a little bit of time in the can. You know, I, I think it's clear that he's a habitual con artist, and what he does is he frauds people. And he needed some type of legal avenue, so he went into the church, and you know, the church doesn't get taxed, and I don't know all about that, but. Just all in all, he needed some type of way to brand himself because that's really what he was doing. He didn't need to be that scene and, and that um, flashy. You know, there's a difference between wearing a nice suit and wearing a, uh, you know, a high end price name brand suit that has the logo all over it. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you can't miss me. Like, why is there a million dollars of jewelry in the church in the first place? Like, that's why is that even a thing? So. And then, you know, when you, uh, you know, dived a little bit into the numbers, you know, he's ripping off people half a million dollars, $90,000. And, um, you know, you can believe what you want about God or how the universe works or how life functions, whatever. But at the end of the day, you know, when it comes to language, it's just three letters. So just because you say God here and God there doesn't mean that whatever's coming next is legitimate. You know, so it's like the man who got, you know, caught just basically ripping people off. Now we here comes the glory of Jesus because famously everybody knows Jesus is all about money and and status and fame. So right, uh, it's all you all you see in the Bible is that's Jesus. all you see, man. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's what it's about. <laughs> it was a labels guy, Jesus apparently, and and yes. like also like when you see the production value in the the uh, live stream sermons, uh, it, this doesn't seem like a Louis Vuitton type of church, right? I mean, it doesn't seem like that's what they're after here. The money, it, it's clear where the money is going uh, when you see Lamore Whitehead. It was clear to 12 jurors there. I want to ask you, Jackson, this whole tying the mayor of New York in, saying that he was just, uh, they went after him because they were trying to get him to turn on Eric Adams. Uh, yeah. That desperation, do you think? I mean, I obviously, we, we yeah, that that sounds like something you just pull out because there's no way to prove it, and you need something because you know, I guess the the police want to go after their top police officer, you know, right? And, and also, too, I would think that whatever type of sting that would be, they probably would have other people that they could utilize because at the end of the day, you know, Lamore is not some like fifty million, a hundred million dollar mega church man. You know, no. like he he got caught rather early in his scheme and then he was sloppy with it. So, right. Uh, yeah. No, I, I highly doubt that the FBI is is punishing him. for this. No, I, I, I it doesn't seem that way. And and again, uh, you know, we, we will. Uh, you said let we'll see what happens next. Well, he says there's a lot more to come. We will. Uh, and I'm sure Dr. Ritchie will follow the story wherever it may go. But as you said, uh, Jackson, it looks like the first place it's going is uh, is jail. So yes. uh, we'll, we'll see that. <laughs>